And welcome back, everybody, to Base Sunday. We are going back to school now with a very unique and a very successful program over at San Francisco State. It's called their Guardian Scholars Program, where young undergrads that are transitioning from foster care get a bit of a, a roadmap of sorts and a whole lot of help as they uh, head to college and go through college. And here to talk about GSP is their program director, Sochi Sanchez Zarama. How did that's I do? Right. That's right. right. And one of their uh, one of their proud alumni, that's Andre Helms. Thanks for joining us, folks. Thank you. Well, we've Thanks. been chit chatting off camera, but this is a very unique program. I know you're very proud of it. How yes. did it all get started? Well, Frank, I've been working with education and educational access for students and young adults, vulnerable youth who. Um, quite typically don't get into college and in 2005 I had the unique opportunity of linking with the School of Social Work at San Francisco State and we said we were going to do and put our mind to making it all possible for former foster youth. Um, making a successful unique program was our goal and uh, we started in, in six years ago and Andre was one of our founding members and we're very proud of the outcome comes of our students. I should say, tell the numbers. Yeah. Uh, Eighty-six percent of those kids that go in the program go on to graduate, right? That's right. We have yeah. an eighty-six percent graduation rate. Now, for foster kids that are going to college and not through this program, mm -hmm. only how many percent? Three percent go? The data is one percent of foster youth that graduate from high school enter higher ed. So of that, only 3% graduate. And so you could see how So how you're 83% better than that group because of what you guys have done, right? Yes. That's yeah. awesome. And you do everything. I, I mean, housing, counseling, you help with homework, the finances, all that mm -hmm. sort of thing, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just to get the student in, but you help him or her all throughout the program, right? We, we, we try our best to really provide them with a comprehensive, unique um, support system that offers a lot of love and caring and I'm number 11 in my family and I was given the the just the the understanding of, of, of strong family and community building and so that's what we've brought to our students and our staff well let's talk to one of your students Andre where would you be without this program GSP? Uh, without this program I would either be uh, on prison or working like McDonald's or Walgreens or something or something like retail job, just trying to get by. Yeah. You know, but about, about this program, oh, I, I, it's so hard for me to think where, where I'll be. You know, or it's I'll really shaped it. you yeah. as a man, has it? Yeah. Been? Yeah, as a man. And what are you studying? What do you want to be? Uh, I'm studying corporate finance right now. Wow. Uh, I have the drive to uh, obtain my MBA. I'm thinking about going into sustainability because uh, I really care about the environment and care about the earth and how we sustain it for the future generations. So now you just graduated, but you got a little summer school to take care of. Yes. And then and then, and then, then what's next? Uh, awesome. Uh, you're, I'm, you're I'm applying for jobs at the moment. Uh, I find myself being in between uh, having qualifications and not being so, as qualified as to be a manager, as a manager. So it's hard for me to get entry-level jobs. But I'm, I'm applying right now. and. You'll get it. Yeah. I'm well, sure you will. And, and we support him, and, and he's such a strong advocate for, uh, as a graduate and all of our graduates, they continue to be mentors to our students and leaders. So he's a wonderful example um, of, of how it is to make it at, um, as a college graduate and a motivated, very intelligent leader. How many uh, students have you gone through the program? 54, Frank. 54. And mm -hmm. how many have graduated so far? We've had nine graduates. Nine graduates? And yes. they're alumni? Do they come back and say, come on, Andre, yeah. you can do it? And they, yes. 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 All right. Actually, one of our, uh, one of my roommates, my first roommate, Sokol Mal, he came back to my graduation. He surprised me. He showed up. Mm -hmm. I didn't think he was going to come. He showed up and he took pictures, and I, I, I was so happy and blessed that he came there to support me. And you were you, you grew up in a foster family? I grew up with my grandmother, so it was foster kinship. Uh -huh. yeah, so it's similar to the foster youth program. Yeah. So this is just giving you so much hope, and your future is wide-eyed. Yes, I'm the first in my family to graduate from college. That's awesome. Yeah, so uh, I have my younger brothers and sisters. Uh, four. I have three brothers, one sister. Might they so, follow in your footsteps yes. now that you're the college grad? Yes, I'll Absolutely. push for it. Yes. Yeah. I'll push that they just, go beyond what I've done, you know, go to 
I push that they go to, you know, go to Cal, go to Stanford, and push higher than the San Francisco State. Push Cal but, a little bit more, yeah. okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Cal grad. Go, so Bears. You, go Bears, there you go. What are the qualifications? What does a student, uh, uh, besides being in foster care, mm -hmm. what do they have to well, do? Well, their eligibility, their motivation, their high desire to succeed. We work with them in the admissions process, so, so the pre-admissions, to support them and make sure that they know that we exist. We work with a lot of community agencies and social service agencies, child welfare systems throughout California to make sure that uh, availabilities and the access is there. They know that we exist. And then once they come, we're able to afford them. Uh, our administration and our campus has been extremely supportive in providing things like year-round housing. There's never a lapse or a gap for their housing. We're able to, with the money that we donate, uh, that's donated because we are a self-funded uh, standalone program on our campus. So it's through uh, donations? It, and it is. We sort of right? like to think of ourselves as a, a, a non-profit uh, agency working at a university campus. So all of those costs that and the donations that we receive support the housing costs, the transportation, meals, uh, living expenses. Yeah, but when you can throw out 86% graduation rate. It works. It does. I mean, it it, it's a program that's working, and uh, mm -hmm. Andre's a great example. Thanks for coming in, guys, and uh, continued success us. over at San Francisco State. Great. Thank you. All Thank right, you. guys. Andre, pleasure. Thank you. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much. Great. Guardian Scholars Program information is available. All you got to do is go online at sfsu.edu and then click on uh, Educational Opportunity Programs. Important to note, the Educational Opportunity Program application begins November the 1st. It ends January 31st. Coming up, our next guest has a book on overcoming autism, but with a very unique approach. We'll be right back with Bay Sunday, so stay right there.